Hi everyone! In this video we're going to take a look at a new line of L'Oreal lip products. By the time this video goes up they will have just launched for your purchase online. They will be available through a few different places. Right now it will be Target is probably your best bet to purchase them online. I don't think they're going to be in stores for a little while longer. And I don't know what the predicted date is for release on websites like Ulta. So I will put a link in the description box below to where you can find them now if you are interested in purchasing these soon. And I'll also put a link to Ebates so that if you do make an online purchase, you can get cash back on your order. These are called the Rouge Signature Lip Inks. They are supposed to be matte, highly pigmented, lightweight lip colors. And we are going to be swatching which includes lip swatches, most of the colors. I think there are one or maybe two shades that are not going to be included in the range that I show you. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on videos like this. If you haven't seen the recent video reviewing Too Faced's new Pretty Rich collection, I will link that in the upper right hand corner for you. I have an exciting video coming up for a new line of Target makeup that you can purchase at your local Target stores for a very affordable price. That's going to be a try on and review, so please stay tuned for that, as well as this month's What's New in Beauty video. All right, let's get looking at these colors, the formula, and how they look on the lips. So the description from L'Oreal says these are lightweight matte lip inks that deliver a satin feel with the color impact of a liquid lipstick. Imparts lips with a high pigment, matte finish, and lasting wear. So you're supposed to get a bare lips sensation out of these. They're supposed to be super comfortable and have an even dye of color. So this first shade is 412 I Rebel, 414 I Rule, 416 I Create, 418 I Empower, 420 I Achieve, 422, I don't. 424, I represent. 426, I am worth it. 428, I explore. 430, I stand. And 432, I dare. And in terms of the packaging, these come in kind of frosted plastic tubes that twist open and you get a pointy teardrop doe foot applicator. So shade number one is I Rebel. And this is a fuchsia shade. Next up is I Rule. And this is like a dusty rose shade. I create. It's a pretty similar shade. It's a little paler. I empower is a pale nude. I achieve is Pretty dead on orange, tangerine orange shade. I don't is a really bright, fiery coral. I represent is a magenta pink. I am worth it is a red that leans slightly pink. I explore is kind of like a slightly caramel shade, nudie caramel. I stand is a grayish shade, and I dare is a rich deep brown. Okay, here are what the colors look like before I have given all of them time to dry down. First initial impressions. I am surprised how thin and liquidy these are. I thought they'd be 
more thick in terms of formula and um, not as watery. And you can see as a result that they don't really go on opaque and in a solid layer of color. We will see when we apply them if that becomes an issue. Let's give these a minute or two to dry down. Okay, it's been a minute or two, still not completely dried down in all the areas, but this is pretty much the effect. You see not a completely no reflection dead matte finish, but um, also not super glossy. And I don't think these have a fragrance to them. I didn't really detect anything like that. In actually applying these to the lips and wearing them and testing them out, I'm much more impressed in terms of how they wear as opposed to the way they swatch. The most noticeable thing is that the patchiness that you see on the skin in swatching, that doesn't really translate to the lips. I would say the only real color that had to have some extra care and attention was the deepest, darkest shade, which is I Dare. You need to layer and blend a little more to make sure that it's a smooth layer of color. But otherwise, these are surprisingly even on the lips. The other surprising thing is how opaque they are given the formula. And the formula truly is super watery. It's, I would say, like 10% gel and 90% water feeling. It's very pleasant to wear on the lips. It's very moisturizing. These are not transfer proof, so they, even when you've let them dry for a couple minutes, they are still wet, they still will transfer, so be careful with that. But they have beautiful color, it's a beautiful kind of glossy finish without any sort of thickness or tackiness on the surface. They really feel like you're wearing nothing on the lips, and almost every single one of the shades 
really has a nice stain on the lips. I was surprised that the even more nudie shades left behind color still even after I removed them with a makeup wipe. And certainly when you get to the middle range of shades and the brighter shades, they have super strong staining power. They don't have any sort of obvious scent to them either. So I'm pleasantly surprised, impressed, and uh, am fond of this formula, the color that they give and the opacity that you can achieve. So let me know in the comment section below what you think. If you have a favorite shade out of the range that we swatched, let me know what it is. I hope this video was helpful to you and to keep an eye out for these when they come out on the market. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video.